right, it's concert time. The audience are ready, we have a piano, we have a conductor. So, bring on the band. Wind instruments, of course. Do you know, I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. It might have no effect whatsoever, in which case, it's going to be a bit of a waste of time getting this lot in. Still, let's find out if it works. Right, if you all want to get settled down and do whatever you've got to do in the way of tuning up and preparing yourselves, OK, then we'll pass around some balloons full of helium and uh, then we'll give it a go. So, while they tune up, we fill up. Balloons full of helium for the sucking of. Your vocal cords vibrate faster through helium than they do through air. That makes your voice sound higher. But will it pitch the band up an octave or two? OK, I think we're all set, but before we do this with helium, we've got to hear what you sound like without. So, let's do that. Let's play it without, first of all. OK, this all sounds pretty much in tune. All the right notes in the right order. Very nice. Thank you. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, we're going to do it with helium. So, this is quite complicated, so pay attention, because we've got to make sure... You can't just take a big deep breath of helium now and then wait until we start, because you'll faint, because you won't be breathing, and then we won't know if it works. So, we're going to set the introduction going. While the introduction is playing, those of you with a helium brainiac next to you will take your deep breath of helium, hold it, and then play at the proper moment. From here on in, I've no idea. Introduction starts, you take your breath, you play, we'll see. Right, everybody happy? On you go. One, two, three, four. Big deep breaths, deep breaths. <sighs> Quite clearly, it wor was that real, everybody? That was, you're not just suddenly rubbish. <laughs> that was amazing. Right, I want to do one more, one more experiment here while we do this, OK? Let's just, let's just really hear how this works. I'm going to pick on you, sorry. Just play me a note, any note, without helium. Just clear your lungs of helium first. Take some... Oh, big, oh, there you go. Right, what note was that? A B. That was a B. Take some helium and then try and play the same note and we'll, we'll actually get a measure of this. <laughs> Sorry to do this to you in front of everybody. <laughs> That's fantastic! So, why does it work? Well, sucking in helium affects not only your vocal cords. Because helium is thinner than air, sound will travel faster. The result? You get a higher frequency tone when you blow through the instrument. But there we go, the question has been answered. Another middle of the night, keep you awake question solved. Helium does affect wind instruments. <laughs>